Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'll be taking you through solving the smallest common multiple challenge on Free Code Camp. Uh, the challenge is to obviously find the smallest common multiple, but it's not as easy as it sounds. So the multiple has to be dividable by all the numbers from the range created by the two that we received. Um, so in this case, the, the, the number has to be dividable by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And as you can see, the smallest common multiple from just 1 and 5 is 60. So we're going to be getting into quite big numbers. So it's important that our code is as efficient as possible. Uh, what the description also says in, and the test cases here is that um, the numbers won't always be in ascending order, so uh, sometimes it might happen that it's going to be 5-1 and not 1-5 or 23-18. So that's important to us. Uh, we're going to have to sort the array, which is step one, actually. Uh, then we're going to cache the, uh, the two numbers in separate variables. And we're going to move on to uh, creating a loop and condition in condition a condition inside it um, and then we're just gonna return our number so let me get straight down to coding um, as I said before I'm just gonna start off by sorting my array yeah and now I'm gonna cache those two using the ES6 destructuring syntax. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to move on to the while loop. Let me just create the entire skeleton for it before we... Yeah. Okay, so uh, if somebody is not familiar with it, this is the same as uh, if I created a div variable like this and set it to array to zero. This is array to zero. This is array one. Uh, this is array zero. This is array one, and this is the same as if I did this and another one for the num. Um, it's just cleaner this way. It just takes one line of code. I just I don't know. I like it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if anyone wants to read about it. Uh, anyway. Uh, so we're moving on to our array. Let me just return the number. Um, and the first question we have to answer here is how long we want this while loop to run. So we have to find a number that is dividable by div, which is got no. Let me backtrack. We have to find the number that is dividable by all the numbers from the range that it created. So we have to be div so we're gonna know when this loop has to end when the div variable is gonna be equal to five. In this case, five. In other cases, thirteen or. Uh, whatever, but in this case, what the moment that div gets to five, we know that we found a number that was dividable by all the previous ones. So, as long as div is less than array of one, then we wanna run the loop. Now, we're gonna move on to the if statement, and the result of this is that we increase div by 1. So what is the condition that this has to pass that we want to increase our divisor? So I think this is pretty clear. Um, the moment that our number is evenly dividable by div, we want to increase it and check it, check the number against uh, another number from the range. So uh, we, we're not just going to divide it, we want to find the, what's the rest from the, from the division. So if, non -divided, if the rest is equal to 0, then we want to increase our divisor and check it against another number. So in this case, 
uh, first iteration 5 divided by 1 is obviously fine and we're going to increase it to 2 and the second one this is going to return false so we don't want to increase it now we want to move on to the else statement um, so obviously this number is not big enough so we want to increase it and we're going to be increasing it by the its initial value that by the biggest number from the array and we want to reset the, the div variable to its initial value as well um, not as well but uh, <laughs> uh, I think you know what I mean anyway so uh, I think this explains a lot I don't know I find it pretty straightforward let's just see if it works maybe I made a mistake I didn't so um, thanks for watching. I hope I helped you a little bit. And if you found a more efficient way of solving this, please do let me know. And I will see you in the next video.